Hello and welcome to Time Bomb and the California Drought Update for September 2024. Coming up in this episode, the Department of Water Resources is updating their water monitoring capabilities. California's largest reservoirs are losing water alarmingly fast, and abnormally dry conditions spread across the state. Hey, there's a lot to discuss today, but before we begin, please hit that like button. Tell me off in the comments section. This is Time Bomb. Let's get started. The atmospheric river events of the 2023 winter season, and more recently those that swept through California this past winter, delivered much needed moisture across California, a state that has been struggling with severe drought for over two decades. Back in March of 2022, 100% of the state of California was in some level of drought. Fast forward to March of 2024, and none of the state is experiencing drought-like conditions. However, the summer of 2024 has been a hot one, to say the least. Record high temperatures have been set across the state. That excessive heat is putting a strain on California's largest reservoirs, with increased demand for hydropower for air conditioning and increased levels of evaporation California's largest reservoirs are declining, and declining fast. Let's take a look. We'll start today's reservoir update at California's largest reservoir, Lake Shasta, which is located in Shasta County in Northern California. The current water elevation is 1,008 feet. That's just above 66% of its full pool capacity and 110% of its historical average. This is a chart of Lake Chasta's water level for the 2024 water year. The water level has been on the decline since the middle of May. However, since June 25th, the rate of water level decline jumped from 3.5 inches per day to over 8 inches per day. At this point, the water level is at its lowest point of the water year and we expect the water level to continue to decline for at least the next few weeks. Now let's head 100 miles south to Butte County and California's second largest reservoir, Lake Oroville. The water elevation at Oroville is currently 819 feet. That's a decline of 32 feet since our last California drought update. The 819 foot elevation is 68% of, of Oroville's full pool capacity and 112% of its historical average for this time of year. Since the beginning of July, the water level at Oroville has been declining at an incredible rate of 1 foot 2 inches per day. In fact, Lake Oroville has erased all of this year's winter gains, and the current water level is 13 feet below the water level at the start of this water year. Now let's head back up north to California's third largest reservoir, Trinity Lake. The current water level at Trinity Lake is 2,328 feet, or 75% of its full pool capacity. That's 113% of its historical average. Trinity is performing a little better than the other reservoirs in Northern California. The lake is losing water, but at a rate of only three inches per day. In fact, Trinity has had a remarkable recovery in the past year. The current water level is 45 feet above the water level at the beginning of the water year. It is very likely that Trinity Lake will be one of the only reservoirs in Northern California to record a net gain of water storage during the 2024 water year. Located 130 miles east of Oakland is California's fourth largest reservoir, the New Malones. The New Malones Reservoir is currently at an elevation of 1,040 feet. That's 78% of its capacity and 136% of its historical average for this time of year. And finally, located 60 miles southeast of San Jose is California's fifth largest reservoir, San Luis. The San Luis Reservoir's water elevation is currently 445 feet. That's actually an increase of 6 feet since our last drought update but it's still only 45% of full pool capacity and 118% of its historical average. All year, the San Luis Reservoir has been lagging behind California's other large reservoirs. So this increase in water level is definitely good news. So what do we have here? Almost all of California's reservoirs have water levels that are actually above historical averages, and that's a very good thing. 
but my concern is that the rate of water level declines at California's largest reservoirs, Shasta and Oroville. Together, these two reservoirs account for almost 20% of the overall water storage capacity of all the large reservoirs in California. Both of these reservoirs are still losing water at an astonishing rate and have already erased all of last year's winter gains. And it looks like these water level declines will stick with us for the foreseeable future. California is in the process of upgrading its ability to monitor water flow across the state with the new California Stream Gauge Improvement Program, or CalSIP. Get it, SIP? Like SIP water? <laughs> Clever people at the Department of Water Resources. Anyway, currently there are over 3,500 stream gauges in use across California. These gauges provide critical data on water level, water flow rate, temperature, and even sediment load, and other vital metrics. However, many of these gauges are outdated or inadequately maintained. This new program aims to add approximately 400 new gauges, bringing the total closer to 4,000 gauges across the state. With $7 million in funding, this initiative will prioritize key locations that lack sufficient data collecting capabilities. Once completed, this project will help engineers better manage water resources during increasingly extreme weather conditions. The expansion is not just about increasing the number of gauges, but also about ensuring that the data they collect is more accurate and accessible. These gauges play a vital role in flood prevention, habitat protection, and water supply forecasting. By upgrading the gauge network, California will be in a much better situation to manage its water resources. This effort is part of California's overall plan to modernize its water infrastructure, ensuring that the state can meet both current and future water management needs. The plan is to have real-time data collected from these gauges and make that data available to the public. But don't worry, you can still come here to Time Bomb to get the latest on California's reservoir situation. Okay, let's check on the drought status in California. As of the current report from the U.S. Drought Monitor, 42% of California is experiencing abnormally dry conditions. That's up from just 21% in our last drought update. 6.9% of the state is experiencing moderate, moderate drought conditions. These moderate drought conditions are located in Siskiyou and Mad Elk counties in the far north of California. The current level of drought is a significant degradation from one year ago when only 6% of California was experiencing abnormally dry conditions and only 1% was in moderate drought conditions. Although the drought situation is still looking pretty good for this time of year, the month of July 2024 was the hottest July in California since they began tracking precipitation back in 1895. Shocking statistic. Anyway, that's all I have for this episode. I really appreciate you watching. Uh, I'll be back with another video next week, but in the meantime, please consider checking out some of my other videos and subscribe to my channel. Man, I really appreciate your support.